Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Bodies this way. You're getting too old for this. You gotta crouch to get under the tape. Come on, let's go. Bodies rotting as we speak. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. The damn city's crawling with sick killers. have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps. Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? Some place not so damn dark. Damn face. Nearly shot the bastard. <sighs> Come on. This place is creeping me out. turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Agent. Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. Just a sec. Hmm. Strangled by hand. Very forceful. Finger marks clear, except... Bruise intensity indicates the killer's right-handed and missing the index finger on that hand. There must be something more. Something we're not seeing. laser works better in the dark. Processing image. That's it. The same mark. Exact same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the Matchmaker. Kills young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. 
I don't smoke. Well, someone was. It's coming from in here. Dang it. I can smell the cigarette smoke. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspects still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. Clear, Agent. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. Agent, come out peacefully or I will use force.
Anthony, what's happened? We heard an explosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? <sighs> here, take this fire axe and chop your way out. You can always find an entry tool somewhere around to get you past barriers. You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, You'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. Fuck you!
Hello, Ethan. Uh, who are you? What is going on? Calm yourself. My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I was a great friend of your father's. Yes, I remember you. A long time ago, but why are you here now? Last night? Well, I was nearby. An unfortunate scene. You did your best, but it could not be helped. The detectives? They're dead. Shot with your weapon. And you will be blamed for their deaths. Ridiculous. I'll just tell them... What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. This is insane. I can't just give up the Bureau. It's already been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. Open up. It's the police. Damn. Take your bag and head across to the metro station. I will meet you later. Agent Thomas, you know you're in there. Open up now. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. Now go. I'm sorry, officer. You woke me from sleep. No, I don't know where Mr. Thomas is. What's your business here? My name is Malcolm Van Hoy. I'm an old friend. He invited me to stay here, but he must have forgotten. here, somewhere within the station. That would be my guess.
This is Thomas. It's Van Horn. Listen and be quiet. I don't have long. The police are now searching, or more properly destroying your apartment. They seem to have no faith in your innocence. But I am innocent. I know that. You must prove that. One more thing. You have a special talent, a gift that very few of us have. We haven't time to discuss this fully, but trust your instincts. Rely on them. I must go now. Remain alert. Thomas speaking. Ethan, it's Van Horn. How do you know this number anyway? I know many things about you, Ethan. Since your father's death, I've watched you, hoping that you would find your potential. My potential? Yes. You become an excellent investigator. Not through training or luck, but instinctually. However, you'll find that you are capable of seeing so much more. Again with the instincts. They're a gift from, well, perhaps not from God. Remember, they can help you and others. Again, I must go. Be careful. Ugh! <sighs> 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 
on file. Local police, FBI, NSA, Patriot Database, Interpol. No record. I'll keep looking, though. Still running frequency analysis on the markings to see if we can guess what they mean. 